100. Morning guys, so in reality I've probably done about three reps there. Um, nah, 100 isn't happening. I haven't been to the gym in about a month. I've been traveling all around different places in Southeast Asia. And that's fantastic for me because I have this really unhealthy obsession with the gym. It's been a good break. So, back to school. This is where I am inside the school gym at the moment. And I wanna sort of talk to you about what I wanna do with this channel and these sort of vlogs this week. But in order to do that, I need to first get changed. This week is an inset week. So we're going for smart casual. So, so changed and I never really know what to wear when it comes to smart casual. I know I've got to wear a shirt. So hopefully this will do. Now, for me to talk about what's gonna be happening this week, I wanna to go to my classroom. For those of you who are new to the channel, in the last week of school, I created a last week in the life of a teacher video, and it was it's about moving classrooms. So I wanna to go to my classroom, see if anything's happened over the summer with things being moved into my classroom. Yeah, wrong setting, not the gym. Yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so I'm back inside my classroom. Now, for those of you who've seen the video with me in the class previously, you will know that it was previously empty, other than the bin bags that we have on the displays. So, we've got furniture. I'm hoping to do a little bit of setting up today. Now, I wanna to speak to you about what I'm hoping to do with these vlogs throughout the week. I've always wanted to do a daily vlog, but because teaching is such a busy profession, I've never had the time or energy to sort of make them. Now, this inset week gives me a fantastic opportunity to sort of each day show you what I'm doing inside my classroom. And I've seen these types of videos on YouTube already, and there's a lot of fluff that surrounds them. Lots of like making things super colorful, bright and over the top, which sometimes probably doesn't benefit the children's learning. So I wanna give you a bit of a realistic perspective. That's the word, isn't it? Perspective. And yeah, get straight into it. So today, the theme is motivation. And I'm struggling a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that's why I was in the gym. I need to find the motivation. After a month of traveling, it's hard to get back into schools. I've got an absolute load of things to do. So, the list of things that I've got to do, I've sort of typed out a few things. We've got draw labels, there's these things in the corner. I don't know if you can see them. Draw labels, personalized timetable. I'm gonna do a setup class list. So, trying to do class lists on different websites. So, we've got things like Study Ladder, Timetable Rockstars, Bug Club, Dojo, all those different things. Parent emails, study ladder logins, setting up a worry box. I've spoken to you about this on a previous episode, so you can, I don't know, click a link up there or something. And book labels. Now, I'm sure that loads of things are gonna pop up this week, but for now, that's what I've got on my phone. So, the theme is motivation. I've come in really early, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, way too early. I've come in an hour and a half earlier than everyone else, so maybe I can start to do a few bits inside the classroom. The other thing I wanted to mention is on my last daily vlog, which will be on Thursday, I wanted to create a little bit of a question and answer. Uh, so if you've got any questions, you can use the comments down below. I'm gonna create and sort of collate them all together and then I'll answer them on the last day. I think that'll be a nice little episode to create. So straight away, you'll see I've got loads of different tables and chairs, obviously something that I'm going to need. All my displays are backed with this sort of plastic, so I'm gonna take that down in a bit. Books. I didn't have books before, but now I do, so that's fantastic. Those can go in the reading area, and I've got loads of different storage options. This was the desk. It's a new desk. I'm hoping I've got some sort of drawers. Ooh, it's a bit better than the one I had previously, and I quite like the chair. So, been, these are all things that I didn't have before. Now, the store cupboard, hmm, you can see, yeah, it's absolutely, jam-packed full of stuff. Now this is things that I put inside here previously. So hopefully throughout the week, I'm gonna to start to set different things up and make a range of different things for in the classroom. But I think today, the theme is just starting to just pull everything out and get things a little bit prepared. So that's the theme for today and hope you enjoy. I'm gonna be reusing this display again. You may have seen this on a previous video. It's about a behavior management sort of video. I'll put that up there. I've tried a different behavior management strategy for 30 days and it went really well. So I'm gonna be reusing it, sort of changing the uh, different things here. It's meant to be behavior, sweet behavior. So next display. Guys, 
for this. Massive. So this is obviously my math display. I'm going to change around the organisation of these because I don't want it to take up the whole display. It also matches the book colour, so maybe for children it might be easier for them to relate to the, the colours. I'm not sure, but we're going to go with that colour. I've got this huge drawer thing inside my classroom and I don't really know what to do with it. Um, I'm thinking different things like, I don't know, paper, coloured paper, lined paper, plastic wallets, sort of filling it out that way. These potentially having like children's books, but I'm not really sure what I'll do with the other side. It's a little bit big for my liking, so whether I'll put it in another class, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with this. So maybe if you've got any ideas on ways that I can use this, drop a comment down below. And because it's a daily vlog, hopefully I can get back to those comments and respond to them tomorrow or something along those lines. So, display sort of taken down. I've started to come up with some different ideas of what's gonna go on displays. Let me, uh, I could feel my knees busting already. I've got some ideas of what I wanna do with these displays and then hopefully start to create some, some something nice but I'm not going to prioritize these displays as much as I did last year. Reading area, I want to create a nice reading area down in that corner. In my old classroom this used to be like a sink area so I have a load of different art bits in here. I want to try and use this to create a bit of a reading area down in this corner so hopefully that can be beneficial to the children in my class. So other than taking a few bits off displays, Inset Week is really about a range of different meetings, making sure everyone's on the same page, planning ideas. I quite like this little week that we have in Dubai. Uh, some people would argue like, oh, it's, it would be better to have holidays. But for me, I know that having this week means I can set things up so I can just really enjoy the holidays and then finally just get onto things. And when I find the motivation, for finally sort of like get things done. So yeah, arrange different meetings and then hopefully later on I can share with you what I've done inside my classroom today. So halfway through the day and it's just been a day of meetings really. So it's just been lots of different meetings, making sure that everyone's accustomed and sort of on the same wavelength. I've got some time in my classroom now to sort of set it up and make sure everything's okay. And I came in, this is on my desk here. So a big box full of full of stationery and bits and pieces. So that's always exciting. I found this as well in my classroom. This is a like a display thing to write on that's really, really quite nice. Proper lines and everything. Excited about that. Double-sided. So I'm hoping that I can give a, a little bit of a check-in of what I'm up to and what I've managed to complete today at the end of the day. So I'll inform you of that later on. Okay, so day one down, feeling quite tired because I got loads of stuff done today and I came in quite early, as you guys know. So I wanted to show you what I've sort of done today. I feel like I've made a good dent today in a range of different things I need to do and then a little bit of an update of things that I, I feel I still need to do. So immediately you'll see straight away the desk has gone, the desk's now in the corner. Organisation wise, I've got a few bits down here and then I've also got like stickers and bits and pieces in there and all those drawers have got stuff inside them. This is amazing. And I've got a few little pens and bits and pieces. I've started to establish a reading area. All the reading books are being accounted for down in the library. So you're gonna get some reading books down here in this area, so that's always fun. Pulled out mainly today, just a range of different bits and pieces that were inside my cupboard down there. So here, for example, you'll see a range, a, a display with all the different shakes. They're not in order. I'm gonna get the kids to put them in order probably within the first week. That can be a bit of a, a, bit of a challenge for them. And you'll see all the different displays are backed. I pulled down the letters from this one over here. By letters, I mean words. And the idea with that is basically just to take away, there was, it was taking up too much space basically. So I've taken those down for now and then as and when we start to go over things like addition, subtraction, then we'll start to talk about the different terminology and actually make it interactive so that the children are understanding what they're learning. The big unit, I've just tried to fill as much space as possible really. So I've sort of color coded to some degree green one, red, blah, blah, blah. Although some of them like this one are a bit mixed up. I quite like this as a bit of a breakout area. Those whiteboards are gonna get cleaned and then eventually go onto here to make a working wall. 
these are all things that eventually are going to go up inside the classroom. So, yeah. So it's been a very busy and productive day. This first day, I've not had a long amount of time to sort of set up the classroom, but I feel like I've done okay. So if you've enjoyed the video, hit like, all of those sorts of things. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to follow the series along, then you can hit the subscribe button by down in the corner. If you hit the little notification bell, you'll be alerted when I post. I'm trying to go for a daily vlog for the whole week. So that means an episode each day. If you've got any recommendations of things that you recommend for me to do inside my classroom, I'll read the comments down below so you can leave them there. So yeah. Also, as I said at the start of the video, questions and answers. So if you wanna ask me a question, you can do that down below. And on the last day, the Thursday, I'm gonna do a bit of a Q and A session. Fantastic guys, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.